It's a new lap record! All right, so my last video walked through how to create vertical gaming highlight videos for TikTok or Instagram Reels or Facebook Stories, YouTube Stories, wherever. That was all on the edit page. Super straightforward and pretty quick. But a member of my community, Jordan Fight, responded to one of my tweets about that video asking how I could make the process even simpler and easier to replicate. So the wheels in my head started turning. I started poking around in the Fusion page and as things started to fall into place, I realized that I was headed towards something very exciting. And I ended up with a preset that anyone can use to instantly transform their highlights and clips. It's powerful, it's surprisingly customizable, and I really think for some people, it could revolutionize your editing workflow. This is a good day. Let me show you how it works. In the description will be a download link and that will get you this tiktok.setting file. To install this, we're gonna go into DaVinci Resolve, any project, we're gonna to move to the Fusion page, and come up to Fusion Macro Editor, and then with this open, we're gonna to go to File, Open. That will bring you to this position on your hard drive, and we're gonna have this file with our TikTok preset, and we're gonna drag that right into this window, and you'll see it adds TikTok, then we can click Cancel, Close. From there, we'll head back to the edit page, right-click in our media pool, go to Timeline, Create New Timeline, and then we are going to create a timeline in that vertical resolution, 1080 by 1920. And I'm gonna set this frame rate to 30. I can create that. And then whatever clip we wanna use, we can drag that right onto our timeline. And as necessary, you can trim this just to your highlight. That was all pretty normal boilerplate stuff, but this is where the fun begins. Click this icon to open the Fusion page. Inside Fusion, you'll see this very simple node graph. This media in represents our footage, and this media out is sending this entire node tree back to the edit page. So we're gonna make sure this media in is selected, press shift space to open up this search bar for all of our tools, and we're gonna start typing in TikTok. And as soon as we get a few letters in, you'll see that that is the only option, so we're gonna click add. Oh, instant transformation. Obviously, we've got a little bit of work to do, but just adding this one node gets us 90% of the way there. I love this. Okay, you can see that this is doing a few different things. It changed the aspect ratio, and you can see it's actually created three layers of video and is stacking those on top of each other. We have a background layer that is scaled up to fill the frame that has this blur on it. We have a centered layer that is our main video scaled up just a little bit, but still centered. And then we have this layer up here sort of floating on top. And right now, this is just a random part of the screen. This layer is where your webcam or camera will go. This preset was designed sort of with the assumption that your camera would be somewhere on the right side of your screen. But the clip I'm demoing with, and maybe yours as well, has a webcam on a completely different part of the screen down in the lower left hand. But the preset can account for that. This is how. We need to make sure our inspector is open. And with that TikTok node selected, we have all these custom controls over here. And if you're using a webcam, the first control you need to handle right off the start is this move to camera. If we change these, you'll see that it is showing a different part of our capture in that space. So if I move all the way over to where I know this camera is, then I can reposition and we see our camera. I just pulled this clip off of uh, Jericho's stream. Sorry. Once we're on our camera, then we can use some of these other tools. We have camera width to adjust this box, camera height to show how high, and then we have camera corner radius. If we ramp this up, just a little bit, you'll start to see it around those corners. And if we ramp it all the way up, it'll be a perfect uh, sphere or oval, again, depending on the height. If we bring this height down to match the width and change this move to camera again, you'll see that we have a perfect circle around our camera. So I'm gonna move forward with the circle, but you could just as easily use a square. If you have a camera border, the square might work best for you. Next, we have our camera position. We can put this anywhere in frame and a master camera size so we can scale that down and position it right where we want it. Next, we have two controls for this main game play clip. We could change the position of this. You'll see that he exists in this video as well. So I'm just gonna keep this center and I am going to scale this down until you see just the edge of his camera down here so that we see the most of the gameplay possible. That is very quick, that is amazing. This TikTok is edited, but there's one more thing that will make this even easier for you to use again and again as you churn through these clips to put on social media. Now that I've customized this the way I want, I'm gonna come over to where this says TikTok in the inspector, right click and come down to settings save as. I'm gonna name this something custom like TikTok Real. And if I save that, nothing will change right now. But if I were to bring in that clip again, 
So you just have the clip. We need to add that TikTok node back in. And you'll see it's back to the default settings. But now if we right click on there and come down to settings load, it will bring up this prompt. And if we click that TikTok reel, load that, it will load all those settings we changed. This is so powerful. If you don't change your streaming layout very often, then you can customize this effect once, save that as a preset, and it will take less than 10 seconds for you to transform your gameplay clips into vertical video ready for TikTok or Instagram Reels, any of the stories on Facebook or YouTube. This is so cool. From there, we're gonna go over to the Deliver page, keep this on custom, and make sure our format is MP4 H.264, and choose somewhere to export that, give it a custom name, click Add to Render Queue, and then we can click Start render and we'll render that out. You like jazz? Light up a park here? Good. And just like I said on my past video for creating vertical videos, from here I would recommend using something like Google Drive or Dropbox to get this right to your phone so you can upload wherever you want. And that's all I have. And now I'm giving this away to you all for free. So uh, check the link in the download, try it out. If you use this, let me know. There are still so many different ways you can customize this preset. So if you mix it up, if you create something new and exciting, I would love to see it. Drop a link to your social media where you're posting these or a link directly to the videos in the comments below and I'll check it out. And as always, if this video was useful to you and you wanna see more in DaVinci Resolve, this amazing free piece of software, consider subscribing. Thanks, I'll see you next time.